Hi guys and welcome to a new episode of The Collector and hey, thanks for watching. And this time we will be looking at 10 games on the Nintendo Switch that I am looking to play in 2023. I have decided to do this video as I think it is important to have a yearly bucket list of games. A sort of allowance of games that you give to yourself to play. That is not to say that you may not play new games coming out, but this game take priority when you are in that aspect of hmm, what should I play today? Now I know that the Nintendo Switch is not a retro console, but it's a Nintendo console. And it's practically retro as it has all these amazing re-releases, but also so amazing in this support. I got the Switch day one and I have made a video about unboxing it and leaking the cartridge so it's been with me since the beginning. And as always I have to say that this is not a top 10 and I will not be rating the games but I do own all these games as they are in my bucket list. So here are 10 games from the Nintendo Switch that I will be playing in 2023. And first off we have Skyrim and it is quite a shame I took so long to get to it but big open world games were always put in the back for me and even though I always wanted to play them I always end up putting them in a queue. Skyrim is an industry staple and one that created an amazing world and multiple memes that will forever be across the internet. I have to say that I am grateful for it coming on the Nintendo Switch and even though it is not the best place to experience it, I would have never played it if it was not for the switch so thank you and next we have the witcher 3 which is such an amazing game that i have to play this year again the switch is not the best place for it but thank you switch for having it i did have a go at this one back when it got released for the xbox one and i did play through the first few hours of it and i remember i loved it a lot my friend has always hyped it up as being an amazing game and recently another friend of mine has played through it and at this point i have no more excuses if my friend who has a family can do it then so can i so i am coming after you witcher 3 and next we have something that I have been trying to play ever since it came out back on the Nintendo Wii and that is Xenoblade Chronicles. I will have to be honest with you guys and admit that I am a massive handheld fan and I do prefer playing games in handheld mode so when the Switch came out and all of these games were re-releasing on it I was really enthusiastic about it as I have been putting them off for so long. And before this re-released on the Switch, it was in my bucket list of games on the Nintendo 3DS instead of the Wii, so I was ready to play that version. Now I am very happy I will be playing the Definitive Edition on the Switch this year. Ok and up next we have Zelda Skyward Sword and this guys is the only main Zelda game that I never even dabbled in. I am a huge Zelda fan and I have almost all the games in my collection as I am sure many of you do. I have not played through all of them though but I have at least got halfway through. Games like Breath of the Wild and Majora's Mask for example, I am halfway through but never finish them. I hate it when that happens, you have so many games you want to play and I never get to commit to just one until I finish it. Maybe it's the fear of ending something so I just end up putting it away once halfway through. So Skyward Sword is on my bucket list and I am going for it this year. And the next one is such a shame as it is such an amazing game but I feel I have just scratched the surface and that is Super Mario Odyssey. I love this game more than life when it came out and I was all over it but something happened again when I was close to finishing it and I never actually completed it. Again it's my fear of ending things which is dumb as there is so much to collect in the game that it will take forever and the replayability is so good so there is no reason that I should have not finished it. So so Mario Odyssey is the fifth game on my bucket list for this year. I have never played an East game before but I always wanted to. So I think 2023 is the perfect year to jump in this franchise and start exploring it. As the other modern East games might take me too long to complete and I already committed to a lot of other big games, I have decided that East Origin is the way to go. I saw a few reviews on it and it says it's a good jumping point so that is what I am planning to do. Apparently this takes the East games back to its root and it will not be so heavy on the narrative which I find relaxing. It will be pure gameplay and I am going for it in 2023. 
Next on the list is my favorite Zelda game of all time and that is Link's Awakening which I have played and completed on the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color. Now I know many of you might put Breath of the Wild as their best Zelda game but for me the craziness of this game is just bliss and will never go down from my number one. Imagine how amazed I was when I heard that a remake version is coming out for the Switch. I was blown away and this was my number one game to play. What happened to me though? Well, a lot of personal life problems happen and then I just set it aside to be forgotten in the endless bucket list of games. But not this year. This year I am recompleting Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch this time. And the next game is one that I am currently playing through and that is Hades. This is an amazing roguelike dungeon crawler where the story follows Zagreus trying to get out of the underworld. The story here is being told through dialogue and is done so well. The fact that Zangrius is English just gives it the edge that is taking this game close to perfection. Hades has been on my bucket list ever since it was first announced back in 2018 and then again when it landed on the Nintendo Switch back in 2020. I am so late to the party that they are already making a sequel and fair play to them as this game is just amazing. And next up we have Immortal Phoenix Rising. The idea of this game when it was first announced was just incredible. The way I saw it when I first saw the trailer was basically taking the God of War franchise and putting the Zelda Breath of the Wild spin on it. And I think it's safe to say that it kind of is that. Ubisoft saw the appeal of Breath of the Wild and decided they can make something amazing also. And they did. This game was such a blessing as I thought oh I can just jump right on this after Breath of the Wild as they are similar and I will be keeping the hype going. I never did though but I'm coming for you in 2023. And last but not least we have Zelda Breath of the Wild which I have played halfway through but that is just through the main storyline. There is so much more to explore and find in this game that even after finishing the game you can still spend so much time just exploring it. I think that is what scared me here. I thought if I finish the main storyline then I will not want to explore the world so much so I have to just not finish it. I think I was wrong and I should have went all the way. I am not making the mistake when I'm going to finish Breath of the Wild in 2023. The Nintendo Switch is one of those consoles that made the career of many YouTubers out there and now we have businesses that are doing just that, creating videos for this beautiful console. And even though it is old now and it needs an upgrade version, I still think it's an amazing console and one that I will be collecting for and playing for years to come. Thank you Nintendo. Alright guys, so those are 10 games that I will be playing in 2023 on the Nintendo Switch. Please comment and tell me what you thought about this video and what are some titles you will be playing this year. But with that being said, I want to thank you for watching and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe or at least tell a friend.